Well, let's talk to you, Ricky. How's uh, training coming along with Brandon? So far, it's look coming along good, man. I'm happy uh, on the performance that he's doing. Um, he's coming along. He's doing everything I'm asking him to. You know, he wants to joke around here and there once in a while. I don't mind. I don't mind having fun with him. Exactly. But it's serious business when it, when it comes to training. He's doing everything I want him to. He did everything I wanted him to do that what we've been practicing on the floor, on head movement, footwork. He did it today in sparring. We did two, 12 rounds. We're not, we're not, um, we're not sparring crazy hard with, uh, with, you know, with fucking uh, experienced guys. I'm having him move around with less experienced guys, amateurs. Right. So he could be on his thinking, moving his head. Um, no, he's coming along. Uh, yeah, I see that he's shifting his hips, his waist, he's planting his feet, and he's showing a little head movement. Something that I didn't, I never really seen too much of Brandon. And he's showing that. I mean, he has, he has it, he has it in there. He just is coming out again out of his shell, you know. Do you think sometimes he gets a little too uh, complacent, like a little too stagnant, like he gets, know, too, com he gets too, com uh, too comfortable, or, or something? He just doesn't want to do it because right. that's who he is, you know. I mean, he could do it. It's just that he doesn't want to do it, <laughs> or you know, he's been working hard and he's tired. And I, when he's tired, that's why I, I want to push him because I know he has the ability to do it. If he's tired, I so if in case he's ever in a, in a fight and he becomes tired, I don't want him to. Uh, I can do it. You know, right. I want him to fucking move, move his head. Uh, he got a little bit careless uh, at times today, which I don't want him. But you know, he, he did what he wanted to. And I remember we did three, four rounds with two, uh, with uh, four, four or five different guys, and they're all fresh. You know, he's. Right. Going smart, each round and going, and going, and uh, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm happy what he's doing. You know, he's coming along. Um, he's a fun guy to work with. It's more fun when he listens to you. Yeah. That's what I love. Uh, makes my job easier. You know, but sometimes he wants to be a knucklehead like everybody else. You know, <laughs> it's not just him. It's a, it's a good experience working with him, and it's fun. Uh, most important thing, we lost weight. He's lost. By today, he'll be at 162. You know, we start, he started at 185. Right. This is almost five. This is our sixth week together. So he's looking good. I'm happy. Uh, I'm impressed with the way he's coming along. And is communication key to having success? You know, one thing I, I've learned with him is he listens to what I say. He doesn't question me. He doesn't know. Once in a while, he wants to talk back, which is normal. And my nephew does it. Every other fighter does it, too. You know, but he, he's like, yes, okay, what? I'm going to do it. Or like he did in the corner, he said, I'm going to try my best to do it. And I love that. As long as you do, giving me your best to try it, I'm all good with that. You know, he's, uh, his legs are stronger. His head movement, I don't know if you saw a little bit of head movement. Saw it on uh, Instagram, yeah. That's yeah, but if you would have seen that in sparring today, it's a big, whole different thing. Yeah. It, it's good. I'm having, I'm having him do sparring right now with these kind of guys so he can work on his reflex. So when he gets hard sparring, it all come in together, you know, it all come right into quality play. Um, it's good work. Uh, head movement, waist, not staying still there. I mean, he's gonna add that to, to the way he fights. I'm not, I'm not trying to change Brandon. And people keep saying, well, why are you training him if you're not gonna try to change him? I don't need to, he knows how to fight. But what I, I'm adding on to him is his head movement, footwork, moving around, don't stay there. You know, counter, counter right. pivoting, countering. You know, he's, he's doing everything great. And the moment when he starts getting really in shape, I'm gonna be happy because it's gonna be a, he's gonna be light, he's gonna be faster, uh, he's gonna do everything right, the right way, which I'm happy. You know? So we're gonna see a new, brand new Bam Bam Reels. And, and people don't, don't, and I don't want people to misunderstand, uh, to mis misinterpret this because remember this: we have a plan A, we have a plan B, and we have a plan C. Right. What we're doing. When we go into our fight, there'll be a plan A. And that plan A, remember, he's gonna go back to the way he fights. Right. It's just a matter of time how he applies that. And I believe he's gonna do it. It's just then we got plan B. Yeah. If plan B doesn't work, then we go to plan C, where he, what, the, what he does best is fight. But I want him to fight, but with smartness this time. Yeah. You know, with a little bit of athleticism this time. You know, footwork, head movement, using a jab. You know, he's been using a jab. He used a, his jab a lot today. He didn't stay there, he, he moved, he moved, moved, moved his head, he made the other guys move, miss, which I'm impressed, I'm happy with the, the way this performance is coming along. So, it's all about making those adjustments. It's not easy. You, you're not going to change this in one training camp. It's you apply it all the time. You stay active. And after he fights, God willing, he'll have a fight soon, we don't know yet. But 
as soon as he fights, and we get back right on the gym. You know, give, take a week off, two weeks off, and get back on the gym and just keep on, keep on breathing. You know, he has good rhythm. Yeah. He just, yeah, you know, the one thing about him, he has fucking heavy hands. Yeah. You know, those bunches come out slow, but we're working on everything. Right. Everything smart. Trying to be, uh, hey, man, he's trying to fuck and shit on this guy. <laughs> but other than that, he's doing great. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I communicate with his wife, uh, Vicky, uh, with a strength conditioning coach, uh, Henry, and him. It's great. We cook, I call him every day. I call him every morning. We stay in touch. Right. Uh, we have, he has a chef. The cooking for him is it's, it's coming along beautiful, you know? Well, it's Something great. that every fighter should do that, a fighter that's undisciplined. This is a nutritionist game. Oh, oh, my boy David, David Bonin is uh, one of our chefs. Yeah, I can mean, cook. He's a chef, but he's a nutritionist as well. He's helping us out with him. That's why he's gotten his weight down so fast, because he had a, he hasn't won a plan. And he's strict with him as well. Yeah. You know, this morning we called him because uh, he, he weighed 165 yesterday, and he went overweight uh, three pounds because he's drinking his liquids. You guys gotta be disciplined. I want to get him by in two weeks and a half. I want him at 155, and we want to stay plateau at that until right. we know a, a, a fight date, and then he'll be able to eat and fluctuate. I don't want him going up, down, up, down. Just stay at 55, 56, going down until we get to 47. That's great to see you guys are implementing different plans, different ideas. Uh, I'm impressed so far, so looking forward. to work out, right? Yeah, plus I've seen it, like I said, some of the videos on Instagram. So I'm looking forward to, um, to his next fight. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.